Assalamualaikum, my name is Nasha Fisami Tusaimi and my matrix number is 2020950803. So in this slide, um, I will explain and introduce about uh, our commercial record center, which is Royal Record Center. But first of all, let me introduce uh, a little bit about Record Center. Record Center is intended to serve as a central repository in which an organization can store and manage all of its records such as legal or financial documents. The Record Center supports the entire records management process, from records collection to records management to record disposition. Typically, a record center site is designed and configured by an organization's records management professionals and information technology staff to support an organization's file plan. Record management is responsible for the efficient and systematic uh, control of the creation, receipt, maintenance, use and disposition of records, including process for capturing and maintaining uh, evidence of and information about business activities and transactions in the form of records. Documentation may exist in memos, paper files, uh, contracts, email, database, records, and video. Digital records may be stored on storage media in the house or in the cloud, while paper records may be stored uh, in physical boxes, on premises, or at storage facilities. I would like to introduce our commercial record center, which is Royal Record Center. Royal Record Center was established on December 24, 2020. It was located at Lot 7, 2 stroke F, Jalan Delima, 1 stroke 1, Subang High Tech Industrial Park. 4000 Shah Alam, Selangor. Our record center was launched by an officer, Minister of Federal Territories in Shah Alam. Our company tagline is Surf, Keep and Care. Okay, in this slide, I will explain about what do we offer to our customer and client. Our focus is to attract a client to use or keep uh, the services that we are providing to them. Okay, we will make sure to serve our client gently and friendly, the records we keep safe, and take a good care of the records properly. In our record center, we receive all types of collection uh, records such as paper-based document, electronic document, audio, audio-visual materials, photographs, and other that are related to records. In our record center, we are providing several facilities such as a prayer room, office, cafe, reference room, toilet, parking, locker room, and many more. Okay, this concept of record center can help to enhance the quality of retrieving, processing, and storing the records. Hence, the service that our company provides is using high technology, especially in security and accessing the material. So, this is our Royal Record Center logo. We state our record center name as Royal Record Center to promote our service and so that people can easily recognize our center and services. So, in this logo, the lightning symbolizes our efficiency and transparency in service to client as a record center. The red color on our logo symbolizes strength, agility, and also symbolizes being the safest record center. Meanwhile, the white color symbolizes the trust and confidence that clients place in us to protect their records. Okay, the color black determines we are a record center that has the characteristic of professionalism and seriousness in carrying out the task of keeping records. Okay, so for our mission, vision, and objective, first, our mission is to provide uh, the safer space and places to store our clients record our vision is always to prioritize the security of our clients records under any circumstances so for the objective uh, we provide the best services to our client facilities record search in the short term maintain the security of every records always trusted by our clients and offering low cost to our clients so here is structural organization of royal record center on the top we have director of royal record center and then we got a record manager internal management, license with archivist, license with record center, and security and transport. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Amrina Shadim Tengok Fauzi and I will present about the management of Royal Record Center. Our purpose is documenting all actions and decisions connected to the production, maintenance, storage and destruction of documents in an important part of the Royal Record Center's record management rules. So that's our company information is more accessible and excellent. Royal Record Center must ensure that its members and the community's rights are respected and safeguarded in order to defend the organization's rights. The Royal Record Center organization also is respon responsible in addition to providing superior services. The reason is that happy clients are more inclined to refer us to stay with us. Clients are entitled to privacy and confidentiality in our firm.
Our policy states what information the organization is required to preserve as a record. The procedure for managing the record is storage, transferring, retrieval, disposal as well as the storage of information in relation to the customer. As specified in the preceding paragraph, this policy applies to records that have been made using any medium including but not limited to paper, social media, email, film, electronic media, laptops, and USB flash drive, among other things. Next is the management and administration of records. Our record centers for submit records are frequent. A record center must be able to store all necessary records to enable retrieval, retrieval including dust on the media designated for the purpose. Keeping semi-current records is required for current business but it is required for legal reasons. Royal Record Centers also securely stores documents and makes them accessible to customers through safe off-site film and electronic distribution, low-cost records management solution, and secure on-site document retrieval. Next in maintaining the records. First is integrity, which is we are ensuring that documents are retained in good shape, are secure, and are stored in a high security location. Second is reliability, reliability which is maintain documents in a secure and appropriate loca location. These places can safeguard documents and data for the duration of their storage life and are free of crime and natural disasters. Third is systematic to maintain important and worldwide documents the records management system must be systematic for is usability usable which is usable records are those that are discoverable retrievable and interpretable it should be accompanied by a description of the business activity or transaction that generate it Lastly, we have security of the records, which is first, protecting information assets, second, outside wall, third, local storage areas, four, main security, with security guards, six, fire and the flood protection, and lastly, we have CCTV. Thank you. That's all for me. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. My name is Nur Faiza Izati binti Taib and for this part, I will be explaining three procedure of our three main activities which is transferring records, retrieval records, a present and disposal process. For the first one is transferring record. For this, re for this activities, we have three main steps which is the first one we have to make sure where our record belongs to by referring the retention schedules or the RRSTA the second step is we have to box our record correctly and the third step is we have to complete the URC transfer form the second procedure is the retrieval records the first one you need to do is receive and download retrieval request form Second, we have to complete all the necessary rules, which is our information, and consult location register. The fourth one is write location on the register, and the issue and box notify the record center. Six, take out the records, and then replace with cardboard marker. The eighth step is in charge person will receive it and recheck the issues and condition of the records. And the last one is Fill the complete form and return to the records to its original. For appraisal and disposal process, there are nine main process or procedure, which is first, collecting data and information, second, appraise the records, third, preparation of the record inventory, fourth, preparation of retention schedules, fifth, collecting data and information, sixth, receive and submit disposal form, Seventh, separate the records that have been categorized and list on schedules. Eight, 
proceed the disposal process. 9. Copy the original of record transfer and disposal form with the signed confirmation. Next is the services offered by the Royal Record Center. The first services that we provide is that transferring record to the Record Center, archive and record destruction. Our Record Center has prepared several services that we think can help us to achieve our to achieve our objective, which is to provide the best services to our clients. Therefore, we offer transferring record to the record center, archive, and record destructions since that was our main job to secure all the records that need to be kept. Payment for transportation varies depending on the type of demand, weight, and distance traveled to the destination. And below is the description and fee for the services. The second service that we provide to our client is retrieval service. After we bring all the initial lot of boxes from our customer, retrieval boxes and all files are always on demand. Every action that they want to do with their records will be charged. Below is the description and the fee that will be charged to our clients. The third one is the consultation service. We also provide consultation services for the creator agencies. Our consultation will help the creator agencies to organize the record in their organization. We promise that we will give our best advice and ideas in handling records in the organizations. Consultation can be at our place or, the, or at the agencies. Every consultation will be charged with the reasonable fee which is 55 ringgit per hour. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nuru Ashikin bin Shamsakaman and I am going to start my presentation by sharing about the speciality of Royal Record Center. Firstly, experienced staff. We make sure that our staff is well skilled when doing their jobs. Next, environmental friendly. It is because we take care of our surroundings so that it is always clean. Then, security systems. We are using the best security systems to make sure that any harm can be avoided. Lastly, provides training to the staff. We make sure that our staff is provided training on how to handle information management in our record center. Next, I will share record center facility and equipment. Firstly, transportation. We use heavy-duty lorries to carry records in huge amount, alarm vans to ensure safe travel of the records, cars to meet up with clients, and motorcycles to carry records that need to be transferred quickly. Secondly, security. We have CCTV in every corner of the rooms and location in the record center. Then, we have fire extinguisher in case there is fire. Next, we have water sprinkler systems that can detect any increase of temperature in the building. Other than that, we also have electronic thumbprint reader that we put in entrance and the storage area to avoid any unauthorized access. We also have tinted windows to avoid any damage happens to the records. And lastly, we have post security guards that will make sure that people who do not have permission to enter the building will not have access to enter the building. Thirdly, equipments that we use in our record center. For instance, off-site storage shelves, acid-free box for photo storage, acid-free box for storage box, protective clothing, ladders, hydraulic lifters, multi-purpose printer, computer, table, ergonomic chair, and wireless internet. Lastly, additional facilities in our record center. Firstly, we have prayer rooms for Muslim staff to perform their prayer. Then, we have toilets for both men and women and also for the disabilities. Next, we have cafe for visitors and staff to enjoy their meal. 
and lastly we also have parking area for visitors and staff. Last but not least, staffing. I will share about roles and responsibilities. Firstly, Director of the Record Centre. They basically is in charge of giving advices on records management and archives. Next, Records Manager is in charge of overseeing the management of electronic and paper-based data, designing and developing filing system, etc. Then, internal management, which is a company's methods, policy and procedure for ensuring the accuracy of financial and accounting data. Other than that, liaison with Record Center, which is responsible for developing rules for preserving and using records in the conduct of agency business and inventory records. Next, liaison with Archives, which is responsible of the coordination of the transfer of inactive records. Lastly, security and transportation, which is in charge in documenting regulations to secure internal and external records transfer. That is all from me. Thank you.